than Jesus Christ of the Bible. Nowhere in the Bible did Jesus say, go to the beach in Cape Town and swim naked because that is sexual sin and immorality. Your swimming is satanic. Your swimming is demonic. Now in the Bible, I will tell that Jesus says, swim, which is a good sign of submitting to him. But Jesus said, believe in him. Believe in Jesus and obey him. The Bible says, if you love me, obey my commandments. That's John 14 verse 15. And he's saying, Jesus is the way and the truth and the life. Without Jesus, you are headed for hellfire. You say, oh, I'm living the best life, enjoying Cape Town. Well, he's saying God created Cape Town. And God created you. Because in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. He created all animals and plants. And then he created you. God created you for his purpose. God didn't create you to be a whore in booty shorts, to be a pervert in short, short dresses, short skirts, bikinis, by the beach, showing everybody your anatomy. You've gone mad. You've lost direction. The Bible says your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You need God's spirit inside of you and not the beach and not men and sex and alcohol and drinking, smoking. You need Jesus Christ, your savior. And he's saying, the one who believes will cross over from death to life. You need to cross over from sin to holy living from being a devil worshiper to Jesus. Right now, loving sin, that makes you the child of the devil. And Jesus wants you to cross over from darkness to light, from light, from uh, look, death to eternal life. And he says, this is life, that all men come to the knowledge of the truth, that Jesus is the way and the truth and the life, but without Jesus, you're going to burn in hell fire. Amen, sir? Love Jesus. For he says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only begotten son, Jesus, that if anybody would believe in him, they will not perish, but proceed to eternal life through the blood of Jesus. God loved you so much, that even though you are sinning, and worthy of judgment and hell fire, he still died for you. God says you need to stop your sinning. You're not married and yet having sex. You're not married and you keep a girlfriend, boyfriend. God will burn you in hell fire if you don't stop it. You're saying today is Christmas or today I'm crossing over. Therefore, I want to drink more. I want to enjoy life. Where in the Bible did Jesus say, enjoy life? The Bible needs, says, says uh, it is the will of God that men would repent. It is the will of God that you guys repent and come to the knowledge of the truth. And the Bible says, uh, this word will be preached to all nations as a testimony against them, and then the end will come. He is saying, you may not be willing to listen to the preacher warning you to stop swimming, to stop exposing your naked bodies here, but this is a testimony against you, that on the day of judgment you won't answer God and say, well, I didn't know. No. The warning has come. The truth must be spoken. But nowhere in the Bible did Jesus say a 
expose your naked bodies along the beach. You are sinning and perverted. Is Jesus a hellfire? Is Jesus or death and hellfire? Love Jesus, stop loving sin. And it says, He lo that loves God shall be the child of God. And it's saying, if you are filled with uh, God's Spirit, you shall be called the Son of God or the Daughter of God. But are you guys filled with the Spirit of God? Do you think you have Jesus in your heart? Do you think Jesus is inside of you? Without Jesus, you, you are dead. The Bible says, light came into the world, but people chose darkness over light. Jesus died for you on the cross, not Muhammad. It was not Muhammad who died for you, who died for you on the cross. It was Jesus, the Son of God. And Jesus is the true Son of God. You reject Jesus as the Son of God, He pays you with hell fire. You repent, love Jesus, and stop loving your sin. Jesus Christ the Bible. Jesus Christ of the Bible, the Son of God, Jesus. No, in the Bible, did Jesus say uh, you should be a good runner? Jesus was not a runner. He was a preacher. You can run all you want, but that won't guarantee you heaven. You think running will make you healthy? No. That's not in the Bible. It's Jesus who will make you healthy. Because Jesus says, I am the way, and the truth, and life. The blood of Jesus is still flowing. The blood of Jesus will save you from sin, death, judgment, and hellfire. You need to love Jesus and stop loving running. Well, if you, if you can walk away. No, say, say I'm preaching the... No, it's the problem. don't preach to people. I'm not interested in God. Well, the, God is interested in the preaching. In Jesus, sorry. Well, Jesus is not my God. Well, well, like you don't know, Jesus will judge you. He's going to judge you. Yes. But the word has to be preached. Well, say you're free to walk away. No, you walk away. No, I have, have to... Say, have say to you found me here preaching. Why are you protesting? No, I say I'm just preaching the Bible. No, you hate you hate God. That's it. That's your problem. You hate God. That's your problem. Love God. Stop loving. You're joking. Love Jesus Christ. Yo, you see how awesome that guy's T-shirt is. He says Jesus. Oh, that's awesome. You see that guy's T-shirt. He says Jesus. That's powerful. I came to the right place today. That's true. I actually came to the right place. But you guys need Jesus Christ, your Savior. Obey Jesus Christ, who died for you on the cross, and uh, will meet you on the last day. And he's saying Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus died for you on the cross, and Jesus is coming back a second time. Obey Jesus, don't die in your sins and wind up in hell fire. Now in the Bible, I was told that Jesus was a good runner. Obey Jesus Christ, stop sinning. Jesus is watching you, and Jesus will judge you by his word. In fact, it says in the Bible, I am not like the runners who are chasing the wind. Many of you are chasing the wind, and Jesus says, come to me, and stop chasing the wind. You need to chase Jesus. Come to Jesus, love Jesus, 
and pray to Jesus. Remember Jesus Christ who died for you on the cross and is coming back a second time. Having a, uh, uh, having a hell when he die, people. A uh, judgment day when he die. Your running won't guarantee you a place in heaven. You need Jesus Christ standing by the beach in Cape Town won't guarantee you a place in heaven. It is the blood of Jesus that saves people from death, judgment, and hellfire. You need Jesus Christ who is coming a second time and bled for you. He died on a cross and was raised from the dead on the third day that you may not love booty shorts, that you may not love yoga pants, that you may not love girls and boys and sex, but love Jesus your God. Stop sinning, you bunch of perverts. Stop sinning and obey God. It is Jesus who died for you on the cross. It is not the marathon that died for you on the cross. Chasing the wind won't bring you to heaven. The blood of Jesus is not HIV positive. The blood of Jesus saves sinners from death, judgment, and hellfire. Repent, obey Jesus, love Jesus, worship Jesus, much like you love your running, love Jesus, and pray to Jesus. How many of you prayed to Jesus this morning? It is God who woke you up. It is God who gives you good health. It is God who allows you, uh, you know, to keep your body active. Because Jesus is your life. And the blood of Jesus was shed for your sins. Repent and obey Jesus Christ of the Bible. You're chasing the wind. Knowing the Bible, did Jesus say, chase the wind in Cape Town? You're chasing the wind and Jesus Christ wants you to, to come to him. Run to Jesus. Don't run away from Jesus. Many of you are running away from Jesus and God is offended. The Bible says God is offended with all sinners every day. God is angry with sinners every day. Right now you're chasing the wind and Jesus wants you to chase him. Love Jesus Christ who died for you on the cross and is coming back a second time. Love Jesus Christ who died for you and loves you he died for you but if you're a sinner you won't see his kingdom basic biblical truth the bible says without holiness no man will see god hebrews 12 14. the bible says without holiness no man will see god he's not saying without running you will not enter heaven no He's saying the blood of Jesus. Remember Jesus who woke you up this morning. Remember Jesus Christ who loves you, woke you up this morning and gives you the ability, the strength to do the running. Even though the running is not in the Bible, God allows you to run. Did you worship him? Did you thank Jesus? It is Jesus who wakes people up in the morning. It is Jesus who has kept your life. Amen. Amen. Love Jesus, the Son of God, who is going to judge you and save heaven or hell fire when you die. God won't judge you by your sex partner. You say, I'm a good homo. I'm a good lesbian. No. God will judge you by his word. And he's saying, repent and obey Jesus Christ of the Bible. You're chasing the wind, knowing the Bible, I would tell that we should chase the wind. Run by the beach in Cape Town, that's not in the Bible. Run to Jesus Christ, don't run away from Jesus. Worship Jesus, don't worship your clothes, your short skirts and short dresses. Don't worship your six pack. You say you're very fit, you run every day. You have a six pack and you're adorning yourself. You need to adorn Jesus. Obey Jesus Christ, your Savior, who is coming and died for you on the cross. Love Jesus Christ, worship Jesus, and appreciate Jesus.
Jesus is standing at the door and knocking. And he's saying, if you will open the door for Jesus, he will come and eat with you. Do you want to eat with Jesus? Do you want to drink with Jesus? For he's saying he is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is the vine. He is the way. He is the truth. And he is life. Right now you're chasing the wind instead of chasing Jesus. Come to Jesus Christ, stop sinning. Don't forget Jesus who died for you on the cross. Without Jesus, you're going to burn in hellfire. God is not going to judge you by the number you achieved on a certain race. You say, I was number one. I was number two. I was ten. And I got uh, this sum of money. None of those things will matter on a day of judgment. Do you think your running will speak for you on a day of judgment? No. He's saying, naked I came before you on the earth, and naked shall I depart. The Lord gives, and the Lord also takes away. The Lord gave you life to wake up this morning, worship Jesus, thank Jesus, pray to Jesus, and appreciate the fact that Jesus woke you up this morning. Amen. The Lord Jesus is watching you and is going to judge you by his word. He's not going to judge you by anything else but his word. And he says the word of God is alive and active. It is sharper than a double-edged sword. And he says, I say unto you, no man can enter the kingdom of heaven unless he is born again. Born of the Holy Spirit, born anew through Jesus, loving Jesus, and not loving your six-pack, loving Jesus, who died for you on a cross. And he's saying, I came to you people, preaching nothing else except Jesus, who was crucified and rose from the dead for you. Jesus died on the cross for you, and not only did he die, he rose again. Praise the name of Jesus. And he's saying it is a name above all other names. You think your name is sweet? The name Jesus is sweeter than yours. You think your name is powerful and famous? The name Jesus is more powerful than yours more powerful than you, more powerful than these races. Obey Jesus Christ, your Savior. Believe in Jesus, stop sinning. You're going to die and meet God. And God says, heaven or hell. Hare Krishna is demon. Hare Krishna, what, what, those things are demonic. You need Jesus who died for you on the cross. Nothing else except Jesus. For he says, I'm the way and the truth and the life. And he says, apart from me, there is no salvation. Obey Jesus Christ. Stop chasing the wind. You are chasing the wind instead of chasing Jesus. You are running and chasing the wind which you don't ever catch. Why not catch Jesus through the Bible? Chasing the wind won't bring you to heaven. Obey Jesus Christ and stop sinning. Jesus says, I am the true bread that came down from heaven. And he's saying, the true bread lays down his life for you. It is Jesus who died for you, not the marathon. Right now, you seem to be more concerned and highly motivated to chase the wind instead of cha chasing Jesus. Will you come to Jesus? Will you confess Jesus? The Bible says, if you confess Him with your mouth and believe in your heart, if you confess that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that He was raised from the dead, you will be saved. Salvation through Jesus. You want to live a long life? Long life is not in running. Long life is in Jesus. 
You've been lied to by TV. They tell you that if you are a good athlete, a good runner, you live long. No. If you are a believer in Jesus, you live long. That's a fact. No, in the Bible, we told that uh, to have good health, you need to run. The Bible says good health comes from Jesus. Believe in Jesus, stop sinning. All sinners go to hell fire. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. Your booty shorts is sin. Your tights is sin. Exposing six pack is sin. No in the Bible we told that Jesus was a runner. No in the Bible we told that uh, Apostle Peter was a very good runner. You guys are putting on tights and booty shorts is sinning. Obey Jesus Christ, stop sinning. Without Jesus, you're going to burn in hell fire. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He died for you on the cross. Believe in Jesus Christ before it's too late. And he says the door is open. Enter through the narrow door. The Bible says enter through the narrow door before the Father rises up and shuts the door. Right now the door is open. Enter through Jesus Christ, who is the door to your salvation. Right now you're chasing the wind instead of chasing Jesus. Knowing the power did Jesus say, chase the wind along the promenade in Cape Town. Chasing the wind, running for a prize that is perishable. When you die, you don't die with your cup. When you die, you don't die with your medal. When you die, you don't die with the money you get, you get uh, for running. You die and meet God for judgment. And Jesus says, He is your God. Without Jesus, you will go to house fire. Repent and believe in Jesus Christ, your Savior. Salvation is through Jesus. Salvation is not through running and winning medals. Salvation is through the Son of God.